Hey guys, good morning. I'm slightly rushing back home because I had an early morning this morning and Everly and I laid back down and fell asleep for about an hour. So because of that, it put me a little bit behind this morning. She has an appointment that we want to go get her eye checked out. She has some like gunk coming from it and um, I needed to go away. Happy weigh-in day. And I am pleasantly surprised with my results. Very excited. Mom and Ned did well as, as well. And so that was a nice start to the morning, but be, I was, it put me a little bit behind because I woke up, got dressed really quick, had to rush out, go away, and then come. now I'm coming back home and now I have to go home theater and we have to go back out for her appointment. So yes, Maddie is on day four of no fever. She still has a little bit of a cough, so I'm gonna have her wear a mask today, but I think it really helped her spirits and helped her just morale overall to get out of the house yesterday and get some fresh air, which was nice. So hopefully today it's like gloomy and ugly. I'm glad I didn't wash my hair <laughs> because I was initially this morning when I showered, I was going to wash my hair and then I was like, ah, go one more day. It's only been a couple of days. I got it done. Tuesday and it's only Thursday so this is only day three I've gone longer I've gone four or five days sometimes with straight hair so I was like oh, I'll go one more day and I'm glad I did because I would have been mad if I had freshly blown it out because that's the hairstyle I'm going to be wearing with this length freshly blown it out and then I would have come outside to nasty gloominess so yes we're gonna run a few errands today I'm going to see if Maddie's up to going to school tomorrow I haven't decided if I'm gonna send her or not yet it really just depends on her cough because I'm not going to send her to school with a mask um, I guess I could but I'm not going to so it really just I'm gonna see how her cough does today and I may end up keeping her out one more day and then letting her ride it out through the weekend and sending her back fresh on Monday her teacher sent homework home with Emmy um, I'm stuck behind a trash man. <laughs> Don't you know I have an appointment to go to trash guys and y'all are just here chit chatting? No, but really I'm grateful for them because our trash is insane. <laughs> like I need them to pick it up twice a week. So I take that back. Take your time guys, you're doing good. Um, so anyway, her teacher sent home homework and it's quite a bit of it that she missed this week. And I'm thinking that she just sent it for the entire week so anyway, I'm going to have her do that. I'm going to go into assess her today and see how it goes and see about school tomorrow. I'm going to end up riding the trash all the way down my street because now there's an Amazon car blocking where I could go around and I'm just going to get stuck here. You know when you're like stuck in traffic but you know you're late um, and it gives you just a little bit of an anxious feeling that's the feeling that I have but that's okay poor guys they're gonna let me go around but now they're blocking my house so <laughs> I can tell they're working so hard okay we just left the doctor good news I'm very excited um, Maddie is doing good she is no longer contagious I probably will still have her wear a, a mask just for a little while just for extra precaution but she should be good to come out and mingle and she should be okay we're just gonna still have her stay away from Everly just because Everly is still so little so um, yes that and Everly's uh, eye is a clogged tear duct so at least I know it's not an infection that was worrying me because like it started to turn the discharge was a little crusty green and whenever you see like green mucus or whatever you worry about infection and it's just dried eye boogers essentially is what it is so we're good. We got, um, oh, and she has cradle cap kind of along this area. So um, we are going to get some coconut oil and kind of rub it on there and like scrub it off a little bit. And we are going to do warm compresses on her eye to try and get the tear duct to open up. And hopefully those homeopathic remedies will work and we don't have to, I always am leery of giving the girls any kind of medicine. I really don't like them taking antibiotics. I don't like them taking anything really if I can help it um, but sometimes you have to you have to rotate the meds so um, the nurse practitioner was like well you could do hydrocortisone cream and I was like 
uh, no. And she's like, so a homeopathic way to do it would be coconut oil or something to like soften it up. I'm like, that's what we'll try. So now we're going to stop at Target because we are dangerously low on newborn diapers and I honestly thought by this time she would be in size one and she's not. So we're gonna stop and switch out Newborn diapers, oh, they're Pampers. We're gonna get a box of Huggies because we have a box of newborn Pampers, newborn Pampers brand, and they're too snug on her, so the Huggies fit her a lot better. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then maybe go pick up the pictures from JCPenney. We should have done that more right here. Dang it, you wanna turn around before we go back? There's a Target over there. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna head home. Hi, Bella. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, Maddie was, she was like, I'm gonna go outside and play. I said, okay, go outside and play. And she was standing on the porch doing nothing. Just don't get by the spiders. Y'all haven't been out here in a little while. Oh, there's a beehive there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Told her, I said, go get some exercise. The doctor said you were fine. I'm still going to leave her out until Monday. I made that decision, but and make her wear a mask inside, but she hasn't been coughing, she's been doing good, so. Oh, hopefully it doesn't spread anymore. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that didn't come from Santa, that came from the family, remember? <laughs> we had our first poop explosion. Oh my gosh, I was on the phone, pain, medical bills, fun. <laughs> that our insurance from having her, after you have a baby, it's very expensive. Oh my gosh, she was paying medical bills. And she started screaming. And yes, she has poop everywhere. Okay, just got done editing the vlog. It is exporting right now. I can hear Andres is downstairs with Everly. I can hear him kind of snoring on and off, so I think they're taking a little bit of a nap. Everyone went to bed super early tonight. Autumn was having major meltdowns. I don't know if they, she had a sugar crash at school or didn't take a good enough nap. I don't know, but poor thing, she was not having it tonight. She did well at dinner and then afterwards she just, she just was tired, I could tell. So she ended up in bed by about seven, like probably about seven when she actually fell asleep and she went to bed and fell asleep. So I know she needed she needed some good sleep and the big girls were in bed probably by 7 45 um just because again they're just like maddie hasn't even been back to school and emmy's been dragging every single morning so i'm like you need some good sleep to get caught up so it is 8 5 and i am finished editing i'm so excited <laughs> i'm just waiting for like the little scream from everly because she's about to wake up to eat and i'm hoping Fingers crossed the vlog can get exported before that time. I don't know if it'll happen, but at least I got it edited, so plus. My battery died, I forgot what I was saying. My back, my back was killing me today. Like it was aching pretty much all day. And when I had to, when Everly had a poop explosion and I had to come upstairs, the bathroom isn't like completely Lysol or sanitized, the girls' bathroom um, after Maddie using it, so. I didn't want to bathe her in there and so I bathed her in our bathroom which is fine when you have two people but when you don't have two people bending over <laughs> trying to hold the sprayer it was just a whole nother level of difficult so my back was hurting even worse and I went downstairs and it was like hurting almost to the point where it was like like taking my breath away so I just broke down and took an ibuprofen I hate taking medicine but I can help it, it hurts so bad. Now it's feeling a lot better, thank goodness. So while I'm waiting for the vlog to export, I'm for sure gonna do something with my hair tomorrow. It actually like in person doesn't look bad. I've had it up in like a half up, half down ponytail. It's like real fluffy and stuff, but I the flip doesn't bother me, but I feel like when it's like all flipped one direction, <laughs> like this I don't really like it curling around my face I feel like it doesn't do anything for my face shape like that and then I have pieces like this that are a little bit greasy so anyway I while the vlogs exporting I'm gonna take off my polish really quickly because I have not taken it off I've been picking at it and see while I'm waiting for the vlog to um, upload on my channel if I can do my nails really quickly before 
again Everly wakes up and is ready to eat we'll see I will show you and let you know the progress just got up the vlog and did my nails this is such a pretty color it is called full sell ahead I think I showed it to you yesterday I actually have five nail strips left this would be enough for me to do an entire other manicure it's just there are the nail strips that don't directly fit my nails i would have to shape them or i could do my toes because the biggest ones in the pack fit my toes so i may actually do that because my toes have christmas red glitter from five and a half weeks ago on them um so i may do these on my toes but i'm not in the mood to take my nail polish off and do my toes right now i got my nails done and everly's still sleeping so i'm gonna go downstairs and just kind of wait for her to wake up and um yeah watch a show and then head to bed tomorrow probably running more errands and then tomorrow night we're going to have dinner with my mom and uh, Chuby and Melissa and the boys so that the kids can hang out they haven't seen each other since Christmas and so I think that'll be fun we're gonna take them to incredible pizza so yeah love this and they went on like butter i had zero problems with them and this like i said i can get a third set out of them so typically out of one this pack was 12 dollars, and i got a manicure back when i first bought them a year ago a year and two months ago now um i got a manicure out of them then i got a manicure out of them now i'm gonna go seal them up and i'm gonna do my toes maybe tomorrow i'll do my toes and honestly on my toes the polish lasts like i the polish for me lasts about and it's dry like i don't have to worry the only thing you don't want to do is put your nails in water or wash dishes for about 30 minutes just to let them set but they're like i love they're dry you can do anything with your hair you can touch your baby with both of the girls i didn't emmy was a little bit bigger but when maddie and autumn were babies I didn't paint my nails for like a year and a half because I did not have the time to sit there and let them dry before I had to change a diaper or whatever. These are like perfect, perfect for a busy mom on the go or a mom of a, new, a newborn. I just, I love them. And I'm glad I went with this color. It's like a deep navy blue with blue glitter. So yeah, I'm going to do my toes. I had asked on my Melissa's manicures if I should do winter or... um valentine's day and a lot of people said winter and to me this is very winter even though it's 70 degrees outside for us um so yeah out of one pack i can get two manicures and my toes typically so even if you want to go half in with your friend or your sister or your mom or whatever i'll have the link down below if you want to order i saved a bite at my bill bar tonight to share with you guys what it looked like it is honestly so delicious i am obsessed with this peanut butter one it's the perfect, it's four smart points on Weight Watchers, 170 calories if you're just counting calories. Um, it is just so good. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. It is delicious. I cannot say enough good things about this one in particular. I love the coconut, but this one's by far my favorite. If you want to try them, you need a coupon code. I have the link down below for you to save $10 off your first order, which is pretty big because you can get a sample box for only 10 bucks.